Lagos plotting to colonize northern Nigeria? Rabbi Okokwansu cries out, can you imagine? <laughs> so, if Lagos is planning to colonize northern Nigeria, who is in charge of Lagos? It's not the same Tinubu and APC because it's Tinubu that put the government of Lagos in, but Tinubu is the Jagaban of Lagos and Lagos is his home state. So if Lagos is trying to colonize Nigeria or northern Nigeria, it therefore means that Tinubu is trying to colonize northern Nigeria. And the same Tinubu is, is is fighting to be in his cabinet. Unfortunately, the national APC chairman, Ganduji, has blocked him. So which one and which mouth is this man using to talk now? Eh? He's indirectly accusing Tinubu's government of trying to take over northern Nigeria, especially the Kano state with respect to the uh, you know the conflict around the emirs emirship of the state let's get into the details to hear more from Kokwansu. the new nigerian people's party presidential candidate in the 2023 election and leader of the kokwansia movement senator ravi Kokwansu, has accused lagos of plotting to colonize the northern nigeria how Speaking during the convocation ceremony at uh, Skyline University in Kano, the former Kano state governor alleged that Lagos played a significant role in the ongoing Emirate tussle in the state. Can you imagine? So let me note our situation here in Kano and indeed northern Nigeria, Kwakwansu said. The Emir is just being a stooge at this very difficult time, especially in this part of the country, northern Nigeria. Today, we can see very clearly that there is a lot of effort from Lagos. Can you imagine? That there is a lot of effort from Lagos to colonize uh, northern Nigeria. So today, we can see very clearly that there is a lot of effort from the Lagos Aziz to colonize this part of the country. Today, Lagos wouldn't allow us to choose our Emir. Lagos has to come to the center of Kano to put their own emir. Can you imagine? So Kokwansu further raised concerns about tax collection and economic centralization, accusing Lagos of siphoning resources from Kano and other northern uh, states. Can you imagine? So today we are aware that the Lagos young men are working so hard to impose taxes and uh, take away our taxes from Kano and uh, this part of the country to Lagos. He stated, even the telephones that we make or register here in Kano, efforts are there to take all the taxes to Lagos. Can you imagine? This is indirectly accusing Tinubu's government now. So, so the thing now is, is doing on them that all the policies Tinubu is putting is only Lagos-centric. It's centered on Lagos development and not any other place. Already, Tinubu has been able to put all his people uh, in key positions, including them Sholomo, even them Sholomo is being rejected right now. But all his Lagos boys are the people in government. They are tall. So even our sons, according to Kokwansu, even our sons and daughters who have brought factories, many of them here in Kano and northern Nigeria, and even banks, somehow they are forced to take their headquarters to Lagos because taxes will now have to go to Lagos. Can you imagine? So the NNPP leader also decried the widening gap between the rich and the poor and described the situation as perilous for the nation. We have seen the efforts of some people to make the poor poorer and the rich richer and I believe this is more dangerous, he added. Conquasso all northern lawmakers to remain vigilant and resist policies that might disadvantage the region. At this moment, I would like to call uh, all our National Assembly members to keep their eyes open so that they don't do anything that would cheat the people of uh, northern Nigeria. <laughs> now, this one, this conclusion now, this one has entered, it's not a joke. I'm telling you, this is not a joke. So now he's calling on the people uh, to open their eyes and see exactly what is happening in the north, uh, what the Lagos boys are doing in the north. This is 
very 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 uh i don't know how i will classify this call this is serious so at this moment i would like to call all our national assembly members to keep their eyes open so that they don't do anything that will cheat the people of northern nigeria and especially here in kano he said can you imagine so reflecting on past legislative decisions he alleged that lawmakers were once bribed to pass laws that significantly harmed the economy of the northern region and other states we are with uh, witnesses to what happened during the first term 1999 to year 2000 okay where our members of the national assembly were bribed were treated into collecting huge sums of money to support offshore in this country that law put a huge blow into our economy not only here in northern nigeria but also other states Kokwanso concluded ho ho so Kokwanso now is beginning to see that Tinubu's boys are trying to colonize uh, the northern Nigeria, especially Kano. I'm sure he's talking to Tinubu indirectly. Apart, it's that Lagos boys are meddling with the emirship uh, Toxo in Kano, also collecting taxes, uh, trying to move taxes from Lagos to from uh, Kano to Lagos. So, for me, this is indirect accusation to Tinubu. So Tinubu now should come and defend himself because <laughs> oh, who are the Lagos boys? The Lagos boys are Sogolu, uh, Bayanonoga, uh, what is his name? Uh, the chief of staff to the president, Femi Beda Biamila. These are the people we know that are Lagos boys. So they are the people now that are trying to take over Kano and the northern Nigeria and now calling on the northern political elite to open their eyes and see exactly what is happening because even their factories are closing down. Most of the factories that are founded by their own people are forced, they are forced to take the headquarters to Lagos because taxes are moving to Lagos. So I'm waiting for APC and Tinubu to <coughs> and the Lagos State Government or that Sumolu to now respond to Kwakwanso's uh, allegation that, you know, the Tinubu government is impoverishing the people of northern Nigeria and moving their resources and their funds and taxes all the way from northern Nigeria back to Lagos. And he made the reference to 1999 constitution, how northern political elites were bribed, you know, to accept the constitution, which actually push them an arm's way and not just northern Nigeria, other states as well. I'm sure if you saw that states, you'll be talking about the southeast, middle belt, and the south south uh, states. Okay, because this the ruling of Nigeria has always been between the northern Nigeria and the western Nigeria. So now that Kokonsi is crying out, let's see exactly how Tinubu and APC government will respond to this. So thank you for listening and let's have a comment on this.